Praise the Lord, prayer team. It's time for our morning prayer and devotion once again. I'm thankful for you joining me today once again as we take our needs to the Lord and learn from the Word of God together. I'm glad to report that Pastor Mickey Lewis came through open heart surgery with flying colors yesterday. They were able to repair the torn valve and the family expresses thanks for our continued prayers as he now moves into the recovery phase. Carmen reports that Myra is doing very well with her final phase of treatments in her battle with childhood cancer. Despite a little fatigue, there is not even a hint of feverishness, no vomiting, she's eating okay, playing well, and this is a stark contrast to her previous five-day treatment cycles. In our prayer request this morning, we do have many other children who are needing prayer. Arlo is recovering from major trauma and surgeries after being run over by a truck. We continue to lift him up in prayer. Brantley and Elsie have heart issues. Abel Ray suffers with PKU syndrome. Tyler Lopez has spina bifida. Abram Page was born with GNAL1 disorder. And we also, in addition to Myra, are praying for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, who are also battling childhood cancer. Adults who are battling cancer include Kay, Claire, Sherry, Marshall Moore's friends, grandparents, Ari Bowers, Diane Escher, Kathy Williamson, Linda Fox, Hugh's wife, Dale Bishop, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four breast cancer, Belinda Bowers, Scott Lucia, Tony Nelson, Steve Wilkerson, Joy Dunlap Burke, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Joey Etheridge, Carmen's neighbor Eddie, Alice Elizabeth, Monica Harmon, Philip Randall, Kathy Burks, Edie Percival, Michelle's sister Cindy, Stephanie Thompson, Michael Boland, Kathy Benson, Dennis Phelps, and Sylvia Larimore. We're asking that you pray for peace and comfort today for a couple of families uh, who just lost a loved one. Dorothy Dunlap passed away Monday night. We ask that you remember her daughter, Rhonda Churchill, and all the Dunlap family in your prayers during this difficult time. Uh, Carmen asks that we pray for Eric and his four children, including a newborn son, wife, and mother Aaron died yesterday. Brother Vernon Purser and Sister Geraldine Purser need continued prayers for recovery from COVID. They have been dealing with extreme weakness. And uh, Brother Sister Purser, as some of you uh, know, are longtime pastors in Arbor, Missouri. LaVon, Michael and Grover, Kendra, and Robbie all need healing of lung conditions. Those with stomach pain and stomach issues include Olivia, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Heather Spence, and Michael Parrott. Michelle Strain's mother had an irregularity found on her heart monitor recently. Wally Nyland has major heart issues. Janie Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Cheryl Chance uh, all need healing of heart conditions. Sister Patty Arnold, Jimmy Warren, and Mike Sappington are in desperate need of miracles in their heart situations. Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, my dad, my mother-in-law, and also Tim Workman and Russ are needing healing of Parkinson's disease. Karen Stroop's father suffers with Alzheimer's. Chuck Laurie is on hospice. Mara Sullivan uh, has lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. All of these are in need of our prayers today. We continue praying for Carrie and baby Arlie. Carrie has been on a roller coaster of bad news and good news from various doctors involved in the case. The child needs to make it to at least 22 weeks gestation in order to have a reasonable chance of survival. Uh, those with back pain today, Tammy Lawson, Carolyn Rogers, Becky Wilson, Bob O, Terry Nelson, Melinda Cummins, Britt Morris, Cindy Page, Charles Davis, Brianna Williams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, Pam's daughter Jenny, uh, Rose Brown needs healing of arthritis. June Coffer has arthritic pain. Tasha Ray needs healing of her knee. Renee has mobility issues due to problems with her, with her hips and knees. Chris Ramey needs healing of her knees so that she can walk again. We're praying for those who suffer with kidney problems and diabetes. Shirley Perkins has kidney issues and other medical problems. Jim Connor needs a kidney transplant. Those with diabetes include Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, Tim Workman, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Emily Stanley, myself, 
Tim Workman, Becca and her mother Christina, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, J.R. Johnson, Jimmy Warren, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl LaChance, Evie, Rose Brown, and Charlie Davis. We continue praying for Cheryl LaChance's family member and Sue Helton Morse's brother who both have uh, head injuries that have called, caused uh, chronic issues for them. Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, and Melania Cummins need healing of migraine headaches. Sarah Stroop, Carmen's sister Tracy, Riley March, and Pastor Marty DeLock need healing of MS. In our other health needs today, Wilda Morrison, Shirley Garner, Tom Shannon, Chloe Isaac, Mike and Tony Hodge, Devin Huff, Frank Day, Phyllis Robinette, Gary Nelson, Les and Patrice Wells, John Belcher, Meredith, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Regina Bishop, and J.R. Johnson need a healing touch. We're praying for continued recovery, of course, for Pastor Mickey Lewis as he recovers from open heart surgery. Ashley Johnson, a gunshot victim who's been on a long road of recovery over the past few months. Leslie Sutton and Eric Williams both recovering from uh, surgeries that have necessitated a time of rehab uh, for strength to walk and uh, for their leg to function properly. Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington all need strength for recovery from stroke. Kristen's Uncle Monty has physical needs but also has spiritual needs that we need to pray about. Ron Asher is in a nursing facility and needs strength and encouragement, as do so many others in that situation. In our spiritual and family needs this morning, let's continue to pray for those who need deliverance from addictions. Uh, Dawson, William, both struggling with addiction uh, and health issues and mental issues related to that. Pam Davies needs strength to take care of her husband. She needs spiritual strength. Judy and Mike Williams family, the Sappington family, Pam Pulliam's children, Charles Gossett, Alicia, Cheryl's family member, Alan, Regina Marlin's family, J.R. Johnson, Beulah's family, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families uh, all need prayer today. Rose Brown's granddaughter and her husband and kids are in need of a miracle. Uh, Maury as well needs a miracle for his children and for his employment situation. Art Chandler, the Rush family, has an unspoken need that's been ongoing in their family for quite some time. Carrie Jones and her family, Karen Sampson and family, Johnny Nelson's family, Annette and Dave, Baby G, Marsha and Britt's family, uh, all need prayer. Connie Graham needs a financial miracle. Dee Dee Sealert's biological father and his family remain in our prayers. We are continuing to pray for Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Grace's best friend's family, and Grace's circle of friends, Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa, in need of mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. Our Mingo RCF residents and Mingo Job Corps students, we're believing for continued revival at the local RCF here and also for Mingo Job Corps to reopen so that we can minister there. Uh, of course, tonight is our Celebrate Recovery um, night, and we're praying for uh, a great move of God in that uh, support group tonight, and God's blessing upon Sister Jennifer as she leads that class. Uh, we're praying today for Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughters, Morgan, Haley, Alyssa, Sophie, Savannah, and Sydney, uh, Jennifer and Brenda's family, and Josiah also needing our continued prayers. Let's keep lifting up our missionaries, both North American and global, especially the Perry family in Osage Beach and the Booker family in Union, Missouri, who we've been covering in prayer, focusing in prayer all through the month of June. The Tamias and Pattersons, of course, in a very dangerous uh, situation always in Ukraine during the war that's going on there. Let's keep praying for God's favor and protection upon them. Our Missouri Youth on Missions team has boarded their first flight and are heading back to the United States today after ministering in Spain over the past week. Let's uh, provide them with prayer covering this morning and throughout the day. Kristen is volunteering at Wisconsin Youth Camp this week. Let's continue to cover the campers and staff with prayer uh, during this uh, time. Sophie, uh, this is Pam's granddaughter and her classmates are in California this week. They need travel mercies, and let's continue to uh, cover them in prayer. Carmen had a good visit with her friend Randy and his family last weekend. She asked that we keep Randy, his wife, and his young son 
in our prayers, and the Lord knows uh, those needs today. Amen. I welcome each of you today. Thank you for being a part of this prayer team, Judy. Uh, good to see you this morning. Good to have uh, William uh, watching with us, Carmen with us this morning. Good morning to you. Uh, Sister Pam, uh, always thankful for you. She reports that her mom's kidneys are doing good, and her doctor visit was uh, better than they thought it would be. Her pain was from her spine and can be treated. That's a good report. We thank the Lord for that. Marsha Moore reports that um, she has a co-worker whose son is suffering from migraines. Another co-worker's brother has cancer, and she asks us to pray uh, for them. So we add them to our list, and we welcome you this morning. Marsha, good to see you, Mom and Dad, with us again today in Sherman. We have a wonderful a team with us here live every morning on a Facebook platform and others joining us via YouTube and Facebook at different times throughout the day. And so this is a great opportunity and I'm thankful that we can take advantage of this each and every weekday morning. I want to read to you just one verse of scripture this morning, Psalm 90, Psalm chapter 90 verse 12. And it says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. You've probably heard the phrase, listen to your heart. Maybe a friend, um, a t-shirt, a song, a meme has tried to convince you that your heart has the answers. However, that, I must tell you, is some of the worst advice that you could ever uh, get because according to Jeremiah 17 and 9 and other scriptures, your heart uh, can't lie to you. In fact, the heart is desperately wicked and um, can lead us in the wrong direction any time that we begin to depend upon our emotions, our feelings. We can be led into some bad places, including a place called discontentment. And that's exactly where the Israelites had landed when Moses wrote Psalm 90. They were grumbling, complaining. They had lost all faith in God. And because of their doubt, they would die where they themselves had predicted in the wilderness. God wanted to lead them into the promised land, but their fearful hearts kept them trapped and wandering in the desert. In his prayer, Moses asked God, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Listen very closely and remember this. Our hearts are not something to be followed. Our hearts are something that must be applied to the principles of God's word and to the wisdom contained therein. Moses understood that the people needed to turn their attention to the wisdom of God and learn from him, not by listening to their own emotions, their own heart, but by listening to the heart of God, to his instructions. Listening should be more than just opening our ears. It must also include opening our heart and responding to what we have heard. Today, I encourage you to truly listen to the voice of God during your personal prayer time and answer by obedience to his word. Let's apply our hearts to wisdom today and we will see great and powerful results in our own lives from that. Would you go to the Lord with him prayer right now for these needs uh, that the word of God has declared that we should believe the Lord uh, to move in our situations. Jesus said when you pray believe that you receive the things that you ask. So today regardless of how you might feel don't follow your heart but today Let's follow the uh, edicts of the word of God and believe that we're going to receive the things that we ask. Lord Jesus, we thank you this day for your presence, for your power, for your patience with us. Lord, you are so good and you are so long-suffering. And we thank you, Lord, that you meet with us each and every day. And every time we call upon your name, you're right there. You're as close as the very mention of your name. And I thank you for your faithfulness and your constancy in my life. I pray your blessing today upon this prayer team. I pray that your perfect will would be done in us today. 
Oh, hallelujah. Have your way in my life today. Cleanse me, Lord, of everything that would be a hindrance today to your work. Cleanse my mind and my heart and my spirit. Hallelujah. Let me be washed today and renewed by your word. Have your way today, God, in every prayer warrior's life as they're praying for others. I pray there be a renewed sensitivity to our own needs of you. In Jesus' name, move today and, and bless these, God, that are in need of physical healing, need of emotional strength today, whatever that the need is. We believe today for Myra and these other children. We thank you for the good report that we received uh, regarding Myra's uh, treatment. We pray for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, who are also battling childhood cancer. Arlo and Brantley and Elsie, Abram and Abel and Tano, each of these, Lord, needing continued healing today. We thank you, Lord, for Pastor Lewis coming through open heart surgery so well yesterday. We believe for his quick recovery and full recovery in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for all these who are battling cancer. Lord, you've heard their names that we've called this morning in prayer before this team, Lord. And now we lift them up to you and we ask God that you would intervene. Lord, be merciful today. Reach down, Lord, and show yourself powerful in their lives today. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for peace and comfort for the Dunlap family, for Rhonda and for her family as they mourn the loss of her mother. We pray for uh, Eric and his four children, that you would comfort their hearts, Lord, in the loss of his wife and their mother, Erin. Lord, be with them and uphold them during this uh, valley that they're walking through. We pray, God, for Brother Purser and Sister Purser today for strength for recovery from COVID. Lord, let their energy level increase today. We pray, God, for LeVon, for Michael and Grover, for Kendra, for Robbie. Lord, that you would reach down and touch them today and minister healing to their lungs. We pray for those with stomach issues and heart issues today. Lord, you are on the throne. You are well able, God. You are able to heal every manner of sickness and disease. There is nothing that you cannot do. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible with you and to them that believe in your name. Hallelujah. There's power today to receive what we need from you. We pray, God, for healing of Parkinson's disease, for Vivian and for my mother-in-law, Beulah, for my dad, for Tim Workman and for Russ. We lift up today Karen's father suffering with Alzheimer's, Chuck Lorry on hospice care. Lord, strengthen him and his family today. We pray for our sister Sullivan for healing of lupus, healing of Sarah Brightus today. We pray, God, for this situation that Carrie is going through, Carrie and baby Arlie. We're praying that this child would be able to survive, be in the womb long enough uh, to be able to survive and to thrive. We pray, God, for healing for those who are suffering with back problems and arthritis pain, with knee problems and hip problems and mobility issues. We believe for complete healing for each of them. We thank you for the good report we received about Sister Perkins uh, and that her back pain will be able to be treated. We pray, God, for healing of her kidneys today, for Jim Connor, that he would receive healing today. Those who suffer with diabetes need your touch today. We believe for better A1C scores, for lower random blood sugars today. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for Cheryl's family member and Sue's brother, uh, for healing of these head injuries. We pray for healing of migraines, for uh, Beth Wheatley, for Marsha, for Marsha's a co-worker who has submitted a request as well. Melena Cummins uh, today, touch her, we pray, God. Those who suffer with illness, uh, Sarah and Marty, Riley and Tracy, and these others who have health needs, Wilda and Shirley, Tom Shannon and Chloe Isaac, Mike and Tony, Devin Huff and Frank Day, Phyllis Robinette and Gary Nelson, Les and Patrice Wells, John Belter, Meredith, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Regina Bishop, and J.R. Johnson. We believe for continued recovery for Ashley and Leslie, for Eric, for Brother Huey, for Kelly and Shannon, for Sheila, and for Tina's mother. We lift up Kristen's Uncle Monty today. You know his physical needs as well as his spiritual needs this morning. We believe for your touch for him right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray for Ron Asher today, God. We're believing 
Lord, for strength and encouragement for him and for others who are in long-term care today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for uh, Marcia's co-worker's brother who's battling cancer. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you are our healer. Our trust is in you today. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, that you would move in these family needs, in these spiritual needs and emotional needs, whatever that they are today, God. Oh, Lord, we apply our hearts today, trusting in your word, believing for those who are suffering from addiction. We pray for Dawson and William and so many others today who are struggling. We pray, God, for deliverance from every hurt, every habit, every hang-up today. We pray, God, your blessing upon Celebrate Recovery and other support groups and, and uh, programs that are helping people to get clean and sober today. We pray, Lord, that by your spirit that they would receive the strength they need. And we pray, God, they would learn to walk in your spirit, Lord, that they would be able to overcome. We pray for Judy and Mike's family, for the Sappington family. We lift up Sister Pam's children and grandchildren. For Charles Gossett today and Alicia and Cheryl's family member, we believe today for their deliverance. Uh, for Alan, for Regina Marlin's family, J.R. Johnson and Beulah's family, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families. Lord, each one that perhaps today are away from you or have never been in relationship with you, we pray, God, they would be drawn by your spirit. We pray, Lord, that as the church, that we would be those that would welcome them with open arms, that we would reach for the lost today, that we would carry someone, Lord, to the foot of the cross today that perhaps have no ability to get there on their own. We pray, God, for uh, Sister uh, Cheryl's family member, for Regina's family, for Rose's granddaughter and her husband and children. We lift up Maury and his family today. We pray for his financial situation. We pray for Art Chandler and for the Rush family, for Carrie Jones and her children. We pray for Karen Sampson and her family, Johnny Nelson's family, Annette and Dave and Baby G today. We pray for Marcia and Britt's family. We pray for Connie's financial need, Dee Dee's biological father and his family moving that situation. God, we pray for Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin. You see Brother Mark Perkins' burden for his children today. We pray you'd move in their lives. We pray for Grace's circle of friends, for Jenny's sister Lisa, Lord, for mental, emotional, and spiritual healing this morning. We pray for our Job Corps students and our RCF residents. We pray your covering tonight upon our service. God, that you would minister to them in that service and for our Bible study tomorrow. Lord, I pray specifically for Robert in that group and Carla in that group, Lord, those who are still needing to respond to the message of salvation. God, we pray that you would move in their lives. We pray for Sam, Lord, move in his life today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Eric in Jesus' name. Lord, draw these by your spirit. We pray for Misty right now. In the name of Jesus, draw her today. We pray for Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughters, uh, Morgan and Haley, Alyssa and Sophie and Savannah and Sydney. We pray for Sophie on her trip to California, that your hand of protection will be upon her and her classmates. Uh, in Jesus' name, we lift up Josiah. We pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family. We pray for Randy and his family today. Lord, his wife and his young son needing uh, your touch today in their lives. Uh, we pray, God, for Kristen as she volunteers at the youth camp in Wisconsin this week. Lord, the campers and the staff, we pray your hand upon them, your blessing upon that district. In Jesus' name, we lift up the Missouri Youth on Missions team today as they are flying back uh, from Spain. We pray your protection upon them, not only uh, during the flights, but as each one of them begin to travel by vehicle back to their own homes uh, once they reach uh, St. Louis today. Lord, protect them. Let them bring back a, a great move of your spirit to their local churches and a vision, Lord, that has been altered by this time that they've spent in uh, Spain. We pray for our North American missionaries, our global missionaries, God, that you would bless, that you would open doors today, that we would see great and mighty advancements for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory and praise for all of these things. And we ask them in your precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you.
for praying with me once again. I look forward uh, to praying with you again uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, please cover our church service tonight in your prayers. I'll do the same for you. Let's believe for uh, a great time in the presence of God and that the word of God would be applied to our hearts, that we would be able to do his will. God bless you in Jesus' name. I will see you again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m.